I watched him sit on the bench for most of the game. His eyes looked pleadingly at the coach every time he came near. Just a chance to play, coach, his eyes said, just one time at least. He was the weak link on a team that was pretty full on talent. He wasn't needed or useful other than filling out the roster and keeping the sidelines populated. The team knew that when, on the rare occasions he did play, everyone covered for him and the coach side if no points were scored against the team on his shift. There was one thing about him that the others knew, even the coach. He didn't want to be the weak link. With all of his heart, he wanted to be a hero, a leader, a threat to the opposing team. But a lack of skills and experience relegated him to his humble position and kept him from the glory he so desired. In the church, just as in sports, there are those who are the weak links. Their lack of spiritual maturity, knowledge, and commitment leave them on the sidelines of life in the church. Unlike sports, however, the weak links who want to be leaders and make an impact are encouraged to do so. Let's remember that in the church, everybody gets to play, especially the weak links, because the purpose of the team is not to glorify the strong, but to encourage the weak to stay faithful to Christ. In this way, everybody contributes equally to the final victory, both weak and strong.